And then boom, cha-ching, you see it live, live. $270 cent payment. I just made $270. I'm sitting here talking and making this video for y'all. Easy money. This is why you need to be doing Turo. Cool. YouTube, welcome back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing some of the host Turo profiles that's in my town. They kind of give you an idea how they should look and how they should be structured. Um, I've been doing Turo for about three years now, so I kind of have a good idea how they should look and how you should really structure them. And I rent out a 2017 Volkswagen Tiguan that I rent on the platform. And I thought I'd make this video for you today just to kind of review some of the profiles, the do's and the don'ts, how you should structure your profile. Your profile and how it looks, you know, some people say don't judge a book by its cover but a lot of people do judge a book by its cover when they're renting a vehicle out on Turo because that kind of gives you an idea the car will be or how the host is so you really want to make sure you have a good profile and that everything looks right it is May 8 2024 so we're in the summer months a lot of people are hitting the roads to travel and to get out and everything like that so you really want to make sure your profile is looking right so you can maximize all the bookings so without any further talking let's go ahead and get into it I am gonna um, pull up on my phone I'm gonna screen record so that way you can and, um, see everything that I'm seeing. So if you see me look down at my phone, that's why. I am a Toro host, like I said, but I'm on the guest side so I can see everything like that. And let's just kind of go over my profile first. And as you can see, I maximize the maximum amount of photos that you can use for the profile because people like to look at pictures, you know, like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, everything. People like pictures, that's just what they do. They wanna see how it looks, how it's gonna be, when they do rent it out. This is the first main picture. It shows you the front of the car, how it looks. You know, you got a nice picture of the uh, driver's side, the back of the car, how it looks. Shows off the panoramic sunroof, the, the nice features of the car. There's another angle of the side of the car, the back seat, get an idea how the back seat looks. Show off the roof racks and everything. And also too, in the trunk, as you can see plenty of trunk space, but also too, pay attention to my location and my background. It's not just like, in a random parking lot, I try to make the background look as nice as possible. That way when the guest does look at the car, you know, it shows that I put a little bit of effort to take these pictures. What it looks like from the back seat looks pretty nice. You know, show the window controls, show how those look. You don't have to get every single little detail, but you want to get as much details as possible because people are going to be judging your car to book it. So why not have as many good pictures as you can? Pick up locations. You can either pick it up my home location, which is at a uh, Costco in my town, that's where I have the car picked up. It's a busy location. People feel safe and comfortable picking up and dropping it off since it's not in the random sketchy part of town. Costco's really busy. There's a lot of people who shop there, so that's perfect. And I do charge $20 for the airport to kind of beat out some of my competition if it comes down to pricing for the airport. Um, luckily, my girlfriend does help me out with the uh, drop-offs and pickups. So all I'm really doing is taking that same $20 and paying to get out of the airport. I made a video right here about contactless pickup, about how I pick it up and drop it off from the airport. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. That video is sitting at almost 6,000 views. So thanks y'all for watching and supporting it. And if you're from that video, thanks so much for subscribing, but definitely check that video out. But um, yeah, so I charge $20, really simple, easy, not too much, but still affordable to drop it off at the airport. And it's not that much of a hassle. I really prefer for the car to be picked up from the airport. Same thing if you're traveling out of town, you want your car to be at the airport. That way you can just get off the airplane, get in the car and go. There's no back and forth calling an Uber, calling a friend. It's right there as soon as you get off the airport. It makes it a lot easier for, for everybody. Free cancellations, Turo does that, of course and the uh, miles you get up to almost 600 miles a day plenty of miles 600 miles is a lot so if you're maximizing that that's like you can go pretty far off 600 miles honestly right here you know i talk about the car it says the car basics five seats four doors regular gas whatever some of the features of my car automatic transmission apple carplay um auxiliary input backup camera bluetooth gps heated seat sunroof usb and usb charger and input so all that is uh my car what it has and here's my description um handoff is 100 percent contactless all pickups and drop-offs will be contactless i will remotely unlock the suv more information will be sent once the trip is booked so i'll the night before the trip i text the guest hey this is where the car is at you know remind them everything how to get to them send them pictures the exact location smooth and flawless this is what we want we're on vacation we don't want to be stressed and worried about none of that we want something smooth and flawless cool so uh this 2017 volkswagen has plenty of space a powerful and fuel efficient uh turbocharged engine it drives and rides great this suv gives you that luxurious feel featuring a panoramic sunroof apple carplay heated and leather seats perfect for all occasions whether you're just going to our local beaches or on a road trip out of town 
After each guest, the SUV is cleaned and disinfected. Okay, that's key. Mention all the features again, say how the car is clean, talk about how it's good on gas. People wanna save money on gas. We all know gas prices are high. Everybody's trying to save money on gas. You, you don't really want that to be, you know, you don't wanna get a car that's gonna be a gas guzzler and um, run up the gas miles and then people have to worry about paying gas. That's another good reason why you should get a car that takes regular gas because it's cheaper than premium. Anyway, that's another video for another day. Not about this video. Trips uh, booked at the Charleston International Airport will have a $17 garage parking fee. This fee is from Charleston um, International Airport and not a fee I charge. I drop off the vehicle the night before so it won't exceed this amount before your trip. So I let them know, hey, the airport's gonna charge you, not me. So it's not me charging you, it's the airport. So since you want it at this uh, garage, this is what the fee is gonna be to charge it and pick it up, and that's what it is. So that's something, that's something I can control, that's just all up to the airport. And then you can see my reviews, I have all good reviews, five stars. I make sure I ask my guests to leave me a five star review. Um, you see a little bit more about me. My number one goal is guest satisfaction and customer service, currently operating under my business, Wallace Low Country Rentals. That's what this chain, channel's named after. That's the whole brand of everything. That's what, that's me. Um, if I can help any way, feel free to uh, contact me. I look forward to seeing your booking thing. Cool. You know, something simple, easy. And if you don't want to drop off, I got prepaid fuel, $65. And then, you know, I charge uh, $60 a day. So that's my Toro profile. Now let's look at some other guests that's in my town and area to see what their profile looks like. So we're gonna type in my airport in Charleston. It's Charleston. International Airport, the CHS, and then boom, cha-ching, you see it live, live. $270 cent payment. I just made $270. I'm sitting here talking and making this video for y'all. Easy money. This is why you need to be doing Turo. You just saw it live that I made that. I'm not making it up. You just saw the notification. Cool. So we're gonna uh, do the uh, Charleston International Airport. So we're gonna click on that to add the airport. We're gonna add our dates. So I'm gonna make this a little bit farther out in advance. So, um, you know, there won't be any problems or, you know, whatever. Make sure that we get the days. So we're going to book it for a whole week. So from the 12th of August to the 16th of August, 10 a.m. Standard Time. That's what pops up. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click on um, search. And then now we're going to look through the cars. So these are the cars that I favorite because if some of you don't know, um, once you become a uh, Turo All-Star host or a Turo, uh, what is it called? Power, I don't know, all-star host, I think it's called. They give you a free $100 voucher. So I'm gonna be using that soon. Definitely stay tuned if you wanna see that video when I rent out maybe potentially one of these vehicles for a day and give you kind of the guest point of view of how it is to pick up and drop off a car. But anyway, so we're gonna keep looking. So let's say, um, let's just look around and see. So we're gonna look for a car that has a lot of, a lot of trips. So this BMW right here, this was a 2012. Um, even though it is a luxurious car, but this car probably will run you about maybe like 15,000, 12,000, depending on the miles on it. So let's look off the rip. Background looks good. Picture looks good. I think it looks good. Um, could probably move the camera down a little bit more to show it off, but everything looking good. Shows the inside of the car. Okay, cool. The back, nice. It has a little privacy screen, you know, cool. Make Give it that more luxurious feeling, showing off the door, the back of the car too. So that's pretty nice. Okay, okay. And it has a roof showing off the panoramic sunroof, the tailgate, showing off the tailgate, show how much space there is. Okay, cool, cool. Could probably show off more of the, the, the driver's seat and the steering wheel to show how that looks, but it's all right, it's all right. So to pick it up from the airport, it is gonna be free since it's booked out so far in advance. So that's another key location or a key thing and to keep in mind that it will be free. So that's that's pretty cool, that's not bad. So that's another way you can beat out your competition if you're just getting started in the game. Offer free, uh, free delivery to the airport. That way you can get all these reviews and everything like that too. So let's go back down. So cool, let's read the description. Wanna see what the guy is saying about it. BMW 328i sport wagon with plenty of room for all your beach gear and luggage. Cruise around Charleston area feeling comfort with the sunroof open at an affordable rate. Well maintained with low mileage, this vehicle is perfect for adventures while also looking great in the downtown scene. Vehicle has navigation Bluetooth to keep you connected at point and pointed in the right direction on your trip. I like that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Talking about these key features of your vehicle is very important in the description. Okay, cool, let's look at some of the reviews. Nice ride, you don't see sport wagons often these days. Absolutely fir uh, awesome first experience with Turo. 
Okay, fun uh, car, clean communication, great experience. Connor was great to uh, was good to work with. Um, easy process for both picking up and drop off. Thanks. So he started in 2021, same time as me almost, and that's the vehicle he has, and that's the reviews he has too. So so far, Connor, you're killing it. If, if you were to send me your profile, bro, how could I, you know, maybe make things a little bit better? And he's priced at fifty-five dollars a day, but I get a discount since I'm booked out far in advance. Bro, you're killing it. Only thing I would say, add a little bit more pictures and you're good. Maximize all the full 20 pictures, not 13, but he's doing good. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's look for another vehicle that has some more trips. So I'm thinking about renting out a Tesla. So let's look at this Tesla real quick. Okay. Looks nice. It looks pretty good, but only three pictures. Bad. No, more pictures. You need to maximize the amount of pictures that you're using. Okay. But it had, does has the unlock. Feature from Turo Go, a lot of people like that, you know, um, that you can unlock the door using the app. That's pretty cool. Uh, luckily for me, I do have a tracker and unlock and lock system for my uh, car. Once again, check out that video right here if you wanna see how I do that. I mentioned it before. Um, so cool. So airport is free. Any other address is $100. Taxing, but somebody's gonna pay that for that Tesla, I'll tell you that. Uh, free pickup from the airport. Like I said, you're gonna beat out your competition with offering a lower discount for the airport, unless it's a hassle for you, but hopefully it's not a hassle for you to drop it off the airport. So he says, uh, brand new 2023 Tesla Model 3, absolutely amazing and dry, um, amazing to drive and experience. It has tons of cabin space and extreme comfort seating, as well as an excellent stereo entertainment system. All right, cool. So let's see some of the reviews. It was a lovely clean car to take a trip in South Carolina. The host was very polite and professional. We'll surely rent this car again when in town. Uh, Ross had the car clean and pretty much brand new condition. Great ride and great guy. Ross was super easy to work with and very something cool. So as you see in five star reviews, so dude, you're doing something right. He has almost 600 trips. He's doing something right. Something's working for him, I'll tell you that. All right, and he's also a power host. So he has quite a few vehicles on here too. Let's look at all the vehicles. So he has a Tesla, a Tahoe, another Tesla, a Kia Carnival, a Volvo, a uh, RAV4, a Toyota Tundra, a RAV4, a Toyota Crown, Toyota Camry Hybrid, GMC Terrain, and a GMC Yukon. This guy's killing the game. He, you know, he, he's doing his thing. He's making that money. He's probably making almost each year, almost $100,000 with doing Toro. And that's how he's doing it with the features, getting these nice vehicles and, and you know, offering great customer service and, you know, doing that. But also to go back, so let's click on another one of his cars. He's not utilizing the pictures to the exact amount of it, but that's cool. It's working for him in his favor. But I always say, Pictures are key, you wanna have more pictures. So Ross, if you were to send me your profile, you're killing it, but add more pictures, bro. People wanna see more of the car, but it works vantage, so you know, you don't really need to worry about that. So there's Volkswagen. I got a Volkswagen, this person got a Volkswagen. So let's look at uh, Taylor's Volkswagen. All right, cool, backdrop kinda nice, in a nice area, not just in a random parking lot. Got the R-Line package, so you know, it's a little sporty. Uh, the center console looks nice, nice picture of the steering wheel. Show you that little back angle view, back seat looking nice. Trunk space, plenty of trunk space. And it has a third row. Nice, you can fit more people and charge a little bit more for that. So airport, $25, but free since I'm booking in advance. Y'all see where I'm getting at with these deliveries. So she, wow, okay, so she has a kind of a lot in her description, which is good. You wanna make sure you're very descriptive so the guest knows. This is a light new, um, this is a light new 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan in pristine condition. This uh, sporty SUV comfortably seats five adults with additional two back seats, perfect for children or smaller adults. There is plenty of cargo space with two seat, two rear seats folded down for all your luggage. It's perfect option to ride in style to a fancy date night, cruising windows down while jamming to high quality speaker system to comfortably seat a family for a week stay at the beach. Try it for yourself and see why this is one of the best selling SUVs on the market. Uh, for any airport deliveries that the guests may be charged up to exit the parking garage, it's my responsibility to park the vehicle within four hours of booking, uh, which means that the maximum garage charge, so $12. So cool, so she's letting you know, book at the airport, you're gonna pay the airport price. Do you watch my videos, Taylor? <laughs> 
you must be watching my videos. That's what it is. She's watching my videos to know all the tips and tricks and how to do it. She's seen my profile and structured hers are like mine. I like that. Five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, and another five star. Taylor, you must watch the video. Shout out to you. If you watch the video, definitely comment down below and let me, you know, we could work together. Maybe we could be co-hosts. Let me know. She's killing it. Add more pictures. Perfect. If you were to message me, get my approval and it's good. One more car to see. Oh, there goes my car right there. So this Nissan Versa 2020 has 102 trips. So they've been doing this for a little minute like me. Alpha Rentals LLC. So this is they're under operating under LLC. Pictures looking nice. Nice background too. Nothing crazy. Nothing too fancy. It's inside a car. Show you what it look like. Show like what it look like when it's driving too. All right. And there's only 12 pictures. Add more pictures. Free pickup at the uh, airport. That's nice, that's nice. All right, this is a lot to read. Now, I don't wanna read all this, but they have plenty of plenty of descriptions telling how the vehicle is, so that's really good. I'll give them that, they're doing something good. Bro, you got 467 trips, so you must got a lot of vehicles. You know, it tells about the goal, you know, you, the owner, so you're killing it. Let's look at some of the vehicles that this, uh, this guy has. He's I can see why he's an alpha, because he's dominating the game. Grand Caravan 2019, $55 a day. Kia Forte 2021, 53. Uh, Nissan Versa 2020, 50. Uh, BMW 2 Series 2015, $60. And Kia Forte 2021, $65. So he's doing, he's doing his thing. And he's probably making at least like 50 to maybe even $80,000 a, a year with these vehicles. That's basically gonna wrap up today's video. Um, you know, I just wanna show you what some of the things to do and not to do. Um, I kinda try to look through and see if I could find any profiles that weren't, you know, as good, but they all look pretty good to me, I'm not gonna lie. But um, yeah, if, if you just follow these simple things, key things that I mentioned and talked about in today's video, you know, you'll definitely do fine. Car would be great. You can follow me on Instagram at Wallace Low Country rentals right here and i'll be glad to answer any of your questions if you want to dm me have me look at your profile i'll be glad to help out and you know that's kind of why i make these videos to help out people it always makes me really happy when people do dm me and ask me questions and it makes me feel good to show that i'm doing something right and i can learn from them and we can learn from each other and just help each other be better hosts to make more money because there's plenty of opportunity to make money with your uh toro vehicles so don't be discouraged if you're not too sure about how your profiles look you know hopefully this video helped you out and yeah that's why i wanted to make this video if you enjoyed today's video please let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions like i said follow me on instagram hit the subscribe button we got major heat videos coming out soon I'm trying to keep these videos coming out to you know make good ideas and topics and not keep the same boring videos but if y'all like today's video please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching peace cool